Hello science teachers, welcome to the second part of my video tutorials using Google Form as an assessment tool. In this video, uh, we'll see how the multiple choice test will look like in different students using the shuffle items and shuffle choices. We will see also how teachers will score the multiple choice and how students will see their scores. In the first part of this video, we discussed how to start with the Google Form and set the form into a quiz. Also, how to import test items for, from a, uh, the traditional paper and pen type into Google Form. Okay, please see the videos. Please see the previous videos if you have not yet viewed it. Now, for example, this is our finished multiple choice test. We will be uploading this to our demo students. 10 items of concept and understanding worth 2 points each, and 3 items of problem solving worth 5 points each. In my uh, later video, I can create another demo video on how to score problem solving type with a simple rubric rubric of the student solution. To upload this to Google Classroom, open the Classroom, let's say GRC 101, in, intro to Google Classroom. Then Classwork, Create, we will create a quiz assignment. Write the title, since I'm slow in encoding, I'll just copy and paste my prepared title and instructions here. Then we will delete this blank quiz and add our already made first long exam from our Google Drive. Then after that, go to these buttons. Change the points to 35. We can set the due date later or maybe now. Mm, the time may be this, uh, uh, whatever, or 3 p.m. or something. It is under the topic week 4 first long exam. And lastly, don't forget to click assign. We will complete Prepare first the test items received by the three students. The one that by Rachel, this one is that of me. And the last is that of Fizz. See, they receive different items. Now let's answer the test uh, with the child classified as belonging to the upper uh, above average. Okay, may let's say average and fees us the those belonging to the below average. So I just uh, uh, estimate their answers based on my description of them. Then we will click submit. Let's see the scores of our three students. Here it is. Here's how the student's response will look like. Then we can send a score of these individual students. Now if uh, we return to students, this is how it will look like. Let's record the final score of the students because we will be returning it in their Google Classroom before it was only in their email. Let's see if all three of our students receive their Google Classroom score from first long exams. 
This is Rachel's score, 31 out of 35. May's score is 20 out of 35. And Fee's score is 8 out of 35. I hope you learned something from this video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, share this with fellow science teachers, and please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.